Hi everybody, this is Oliver here from Blenders.com and well this is finally the second part of the Spiderwebs tutorial. Um, I've been uh, waiting too long for this tutorial because uh, well I had some troubles uh, with the method of deforming the mesh for simulating cloth, uh, the cloth effect on the spider web. This is because well uh, mixing, combining the two modifiers that I will be combining in this tutorial can give some kind of troubles sometimes uh, when working with uh, different scales or with different levels of position well it can be an expected um, results or even just uh, don't work it, it just don't work and I was uh, some kind of uh, well I didn't know what happened because in the test that I did <laughs> before starting the tutorial it worked but uh, then here I wasn't able to make it work but finally I reported the issue and a Blender developers helped me so now I think I have it solved the problem so well we can get started and let's explain you how it works and I hope it works for you too and if you have some troubles well it's uh, it's pretty difficult to make it work so don't worry and just try it again uh, to make it work Okay, I'll, I'll explain it anyway when we are at that point in the tutorial. So, let's get started. Here's the spider web, and the first thing I'm going to do is to actually go to the top view and create a plane. Okay, this plane is the one that will uh, deform the mesh, okay, the spider web, because we can't uh, just apply this, the cloth simulation to the, to the web directly, because as we made it from different curves, they will be separate during the cloth simulation because they are uh, into the object independent meshes, meshes so what we need is to apply the cloth simulation to this plane and make this plane deform the, the spider web okay so just create a plane make sure it, it covers the entire spider web from all the sides and now press W subdivide and with F6 we get that uh, that menu here or you can just press T and you will have this one it's, it's the same menu but different ways of getting to it so increase the number of cat this uh, should be enough and now we want to go here and apply a solidify modifier okay the, uh, the, the offset in zero because this way it grows to the top and to the bottom the same distance okay it grows from the center and the thickness should be something like 0.1 alright because smaller values can give some problems okay the reason of making this is that if we simulate cloth in a, in a box like this okay made from a mesh and not with solidify modifier uh, will make these vertices touch you know they will intersect together the the upper part of the of the plane and the bottom part of the, of the plane will intersect in the middle and they will deform be deforming the the spider web in a bad way uh, the thing is that solidify modifier will always keep the distance between the top and the bottom parts of the plane so this is what we want because in order to deform this spider web with mesh deform modifier we needed the, the, the mesh to be entirely surrounded uh, from the bottom and from the top okay that's what, why we need a, a boxed uh, you know shape for deforming it so now just select the spider web and well at this point you have to make sure that you don't want to change anymore the, the shapes of the curves because we are going to convert these curves to a mesh and uh, there is no way back so uh, make sure you don't want to change anything more or just duplicate it and move it to another layer so uh, if later you want to change something you can go back uh, take the, the old model with curves change them and convert it again for now I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm, I want to, to use this model so press Alt C and you will get this little menu so here mesh from curve okay and now this is a mesh okay as you can see these are vertices ok 
Okay, let's go closer. Okay, these are just vertices. Okay, let's go out from the edit mode. Yes, save uh, this project, but control save something like this. Okay. Now select the spider web and add a mesh deform modifier. The mesh deform modifier lets you uh, select another object, a different object that surrounds the original one to deform it. Okay, this is very used for deforming high poly models with low poly ones that surrounds them. So this way is more easy, it's easier to, to weight the models to the skeleton and things like that. Uh, okay, so here select the plane, but sorry, I will call it something more intuitive like deforming deformer, deformer plane. Okay, and this will be spider web model. So let's select here the deformer plane. Position in five should work, uh, good enough. So let's bind it. And binding it will uh, make Blender calculate the weights of all the vertices to the deforming mesh. Okay, if you increase the level of position, it will be better, uh, so I, I suppose, <laughs> because sometimes, uh, as I said, when combining the the solidify uh, modifier and mesh deform modifier. I have some, I had some problems, okay? But well, uh, lately with this method, it, it, it works. So, if you increase the, the, the level of precision, it will take more time, but it will be better. All right, so now when you have this button here that puts unbind, uh, means that it has been already binded. So you can select the plane, go to the edit mode, and if it works, you can select uh, a vertex, and you can see that it deforms the spider web. This is very cool, huh? <laughs> okay. I'm using, uh, as you can see, the uh, you know the soft selection. It works. Okay. So now what we have to do, I'm going to save it again. Uh, what we have to do is to um, just go here and press C, I'm going to use this way of selection. Uh, this pressing C, you can select vertices or faces or whatever by painting the selection. I find it very useful for these cases and you need to select the points that are uh, out of the spider web shape because we are going to put these uh, vertices fixed on the space so the, the cloth simulation will only happen in the inside part of the spider web. Okay, so selecting them, uh, well, I will explain how this selection mode works, okay, for those who don't know out there. So, you press C and you are just selecting. You cannot change the viewpoint, uh, the point of view uh, while selecting. You have to get out with, by pressing a uh, right mouse button or escape. But now we are inside with the left mouse button. You select, here we go. But with the middle mouse button, you deselect. So it's very useful to know this. And also by scrolling the mouse wheel, you can actually increase or decrease the size of the brush. So right click for exit in this mode, go here to the mesh panel and add a new vertex group, which will be called, for example, fixed vertices. Okay. Press assign to assign these vertices to the new group that we just created. Exit the edit mode. <clears throat> Sorry. And now just go to the physics panel and add a clot simulation. But I'm going to do something right here. Uh, I want to see the plane, to see the simulation uh, in, in, on it. But at the same time, I want to, to be watching the, the, how the spider web reacts to that simulation. So in order to do that, I select the web. I go here to the object panel. And here on the display part of the menu, I'm going to select wire and x-ray. So by selecting x-ray, you will al always have this uh, object on the top of all objects. So you can see here that even it's inside the, the box, you will only see it on top. <clears throat> Pretty useful. So now select the plane again and let's go here to the cloud simulation 
and pa, 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 pa. okay uh, let's check this 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 field here pinning and here we select the fixed vertices vertex group this will make that that vertices are fixed to the space as i explained uh, before so now if i press alt a for playing the animation you can see that a class simulation is happening there but we need it to be more obvious so mass 2 and there we go you can see that it's already working structural let's decrease this one there we have it so you can see we have now gravity affecting our spider web <clears throat> and also well as it's a cloud simulation we could add uh, wind effects and things like that forces and well, actually increase a little bit the mass this way bending and now select this one and hide it with H also I'm going to hide the grid floor because I don't need it anymore and well we have already our clot simulation done it's not perfect and it's not probably what I expected from a spider web but well you get the idea on how it works so now you can just uh, change the parameters till you get what uh, you need for your animation so save it again okay and now what is uh, missing yet is the water drips so I'm going to create the water drip water drips will be UV spheres but I'm going to decrease the level of complexity of the spheres because they, they will have they will they will be very small okay uh, so we don't need a lot of detail on this model also as we will have thousands of them if we put more uh, a lot of vertices on its uh, on its drip our computer can explode or or start on fire uh, I don't know so uh, we have this water drip I'm going to call, call it just water drip okay select the spider web and we are going here to the particle uh, panel so add a new particle system that will be called uh, smaller uh, water drips okay and here small settings all right so uh, let's put this on hair type of a meter because uh, in hair type what we get is that the particles emitted are attached to the surface of the model and that's what we want because we want that when the the cloth simulation is uh, is played the water drips are attached to the surface of the spider web okay let's increase uh, decrease the hair length something like this and now what we actually need is to go here to the render panel press object and here select the water drip so this way I'm going to increase the size you are starting to see water drops uh, now I'm going uh, again to the object panel and as we don't have already the plane with solidify over this model I'm going to change the game to solid view mode and deactivate x-ray so we see the, the water drips as they are okay so I have here this uh, water drips I'm going to change these values here okay increase the random uh, randomness of the particles size so we get some smaller particles and some bigger particles okay and also decrease a little bit the size the selected so we can see it better and now just increase the amount to something like seven thousand even a little less okay so we already have our water drips but now I'm going to add a new uh, particle system which will be bigger water drips and here in the settings I will select the small settings but here in this number let's uh, increase a little bit the size of it 
uh, in this number we can click it and now the small settings are independent as you can see we have here the two of them small settings and, and small settings 001 what I'm going to do is to call this bigger settings because now we are going to use this uh, particle system for creating bigger water drips over the over the, the the spider web but just a few of them right so I'm, I create two different uh, particle systems so they are easier to control okay this way increase the amount something like one one thousand and also change the seed so it changes the position of the of the particles something like this and just increase a little bit the size this should be something like 0 0.01 random size just a little bit and the smaller water drips something like 0.3 and 0.4 well 0.5 and the bigger ones 0.7 take a look at it well actually here I don't like it at all so let's decrease a little bit the size of these ones and the size of these ones but also in these ones increase a lot the amount something like 10,000 and now decrease this size just a little bit okay so here we have our water drips you can now play with these settings until you get what you want okay I think that something like this should work okay you can also increase uh, this amount I don't know to five millions or something like this and well, you will need a pretty decent computer, but well, you can do it. You can actually do it. And uh, here, uh, well, you can change the parameter of the sizes and all that stuff. But well, for now, I think uh, it's everything explained. And oh yes, uh, let's let's play. As you can see, when we play, the particles are just attached to the to the to the to the spider web surface. That is exactly what we need. Okay, let's wait it and play it again. As you can see, it takes a little bit, just 10 frames per second. And well, it's a very heavy mesh, and now there are a lot of water drips on the scene. So, okay, there you have it. It already works. So, in this tutorial, we covered uh, the cloud simulation and how to generate the water drips on the spider web. Um, in the third part, the, the final one, we will see how to apply materials to this, uh, to all this, uh, put a background and also a little compositing. Uh, so, well, we, we want to make a little, you know, depth of field or something like this. So, well, see you on the next part of the tutorial. And that's it. See you soon and happy blending.